continue following me. Well, the poster ain't much unless you got yourself a sexy old green mountain barbecue grill. Make sure you put a little pan of water in there. You gotta be surrounded by wood. So, let's go make some stuff. Okay, last video. We cut out the main panel. Normally, on a lot of boats, there's a mirror image. This isn't the case because the right side of this main panel has a gas tank and a little dog gear. So we're forced to do that all over again. We have cut out the, the front dog gears uh, towards the bow. And then there's two main panels right here that we have to cut out and that's that's the excess fabric so what we have to do is we have to surge this so it doesn't unravel <clears throat> okay and make a mess of things it'll hold tight and uh we're using today an old gibson wilcox we have a couple different different versions of it this is uh this is a, a four thread overlock serger that's a five over there and uh, so normally when you cut a lot of this or all of this, you want to use a hot knife. And as you drag it across there, it sears the edges and it doesn't fray. Well, I could have done that because I'm going to paint my tables again, like I told you in videos past. I, I, uh, I constantly paint my tables. When everything's clean and crisp, you, you work better. I know it sounds crazy, but it'll make sense in the end. So, what I do, uh, with when you're surging, it doesn't matter what side you start with, top or bottom. Uh, it's the same. On, on this particular application. Um, Let's see. Um, so I'm using a black thread of 40 weight. And you want to bring, you want tables, okay? So you want to invest in, you know, floater tables, picnic tables, kind of uh, uh, party tables. You know, like 60 inches wide or long. And uh, uh, I don't know, that looks like about two and a half feet wide or something like that. But, uh, so what you do, everything goes away from you. With proper lighting, you can never have enough lights. I got weird lights, whatever. I'm, I'm gonna put some other stuff in here. We just built this shot. Uh, it, it will eventually become, well, actually I like it. It might not become nothing. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so what you wanna do is start now. Um, if you, my dear, could come over here, walk around and come over here real quick. I wanna, I wanna. I wanna give them an idea of what we're dealing with. Now, when you're, when you're sewing, surging anything, the push is to the left, okay? You see how the arms on that console? See how that hole underneath in the middle goes to the left. So your fabric's going underneath it there and you're pushing it to the left. That's why that table's big in the middle. You look at that side to that left is big. Okay. Same here. And like some of these tables, like that console is on casters and all these tables, I can, I can move this around wherever I want it. I can elongate everything. Okay. I can uh, shorten it to whatever kind of jog. So that's the ideal shot. This is a 30 by uh, 30 shot. And you can do anything in here, uh, like uh, semi-truck tarps and stuff. I'll have to open up the door and have an assistant out there, you know, shaking and whatnot. But, so when, when you're surging, okay, always make sure that your tensioners are correct. And you run, you run, you run practice pieces. You see this? I ran practice pieces. It was all loose. Had to set my tension. Uh, you just always be mindful when you're rock, when you're rocking sergers, you gotta make sure that you you know 
your, like I like to wind my own stuff up and make sure that everything's tight before I stop. I mean, before I start, like I got, I got a shallow one here, but there's quite a bit. There's, for what we're doing, we have enough. Um, but you see this? Uh, on this old uh, uh, B27 277, this is a wonderful machine. Sounds like a jet plane, but uh, East Germany, nothing beats them. Nothing beats them. This, this thing will outlive me, and this thing's already 75 years old. Outlive my kid if he wants to do it. Um, so I've already went through, and that's actually not the practice piece, the other one. But you want to start. Now, there's a cutter on the edge of these. And on most sergers, there's always a cutter. Okay, and then there's a foot. If you look down here, there's a foot. See, I push this foot, that lifts up that foot. And then I can get my fabric underneath of there. You see that knife? That's a razor knife. So if you're over, that's gonna, if I started right there, it'd just trim that off. Well, we're rocking pretty tight tolerances right now. So you wanna stay on the inside of that razor knife. That ain't your friend right now. So you see the edge of these feet? These are called feed dogs right in here. Stay right on that feed dog, just like that, okay? So I lifted it up, I put it in, all the way to the back of the foot, and then down here there's a gas pedal. <laughs> and then this is, I'll show you in a second, watch. We go forward just gently. She's a hopper, isn't she? Oh, Catherine. Okay, now if you look up here in front, you see these wheels? Okay, now when I push up, there's these wheels. When I push that in, that holds that open. So I'm gonna come right in there and then I'm gonna push that button and drop those wheels. Now watch this guide. This will hold this true. That's what's really neat about these machines. Technology from the past, I mean, these, these people were ingenious. Upholstery is beautiful, every aspect of it. Okay, so watch, watch them wheels turn. You see that? You see how I'm holding that true? All right, now you see that surge? See that up there? That's gonna keep it from fraying and separating. So when you do a sew allowance, it's, it's you know, everything's, you're taking your boat top off and on you know, all the time during the summer. This prevents any kind of, you know, like you can see these little, see that little fray right there? Look at that, how I pull. All that's gonna do is spread and get crazy. So anyway, that's what this is. That's why this is such a cool machine. You get, if you can get one of these, they're kind of difficult to thread, but you buy these little kits with these tweezers and, and you're good to go. Um, it, they're, they're awesome and their history and their America. <laughs> All right, so so and then when you, as you're sewing, you're gonna you're gonna or uh, surging or sewing whatever, you're gonna have to gather your fabric to where it lays flat. Always be mindful. What's beside you? What's behind you? What's in your lap? Okay, so, and remember, we don't want to cut any of this off. You're gonna catch a couple pieces here and there because this is a hopper, but uh, we're good to go. And I can look back and I can see I could just slightly adjust some of my tension. I can bring my tension up to tighten up that thread just a little bit. And you'll see when you're running big fields like this, how your machine's hot. Now look at that, that's perfect. So keep her straight. Stay on this side of that razor knife. There ain't no reason to cut none of it off, but you're gonna wiggle. There ain't nobody perfect that runs these. You're gonna, but I mean, I'm talking like, you know, minute. 
I mean, look at that. That's just, just a sliver. Remember how we made it bigger anyway? Let's see how it's separating right there. That's because I didn't cut it with a razor knife. I mean, a hot knife. But you use your, 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 your left arm, your right arm, and you pull that tight, and there's this little plate here, and you just eye it up, eye it up. This is dexterity. Eye it up, make it right, make it right, make it right. Enjoy what you do. All that you do, do it with all your skill. Because if you're a praying man like me, I give all glory to God, the Father Almighty, the Holy Spirit, and the Son. And they, they expect this of me. They expect excellence. And I give them nothing but. There is no quarter. When you're rocking with God, He expects a lot of you. Because He loves you. So. You get it straight. You get it right. And then go past. See how that went past that? And then release that. I mean, lock it in, lift it up. Now see how I'm going to come across. Oh, did I lose some thread? I lost a thread somewhere. Huh. Okay, so this is, this is how you surge. You see that? Top and bottom. We adjusted our tensioner as you go. Be mindful of your margins. Okay. And so this will go all the way around the perimeter of this piece. This is one main body and two dog ears that I just cut out. Um, I'm, uh, I'm saving fabric because I'm using, you get in where you fit in. Every piece of this material that you can use for a new piece, you use. But so we surge the edges, okay? All of the boundaries, all the perimeters we surge. And uh, you run it out. When you come to an end, the end of a piece of fabric, you just go, you keep going. Normally it doesn't, I broke a thread, something something bound up. Maybe I got my tensioner too tight. But uh, yeah, it's no big deal. But this is it, surging. And you do it on all kinds of different fabrics. Like this is real stiff, so it's, it's very forgiving. But sometimes you'll have, you know, uh, really loose, uh, uh, intense different kinds of cloth but um, this is what we do so I'm going to surge all this and then we'll come back and then we'll sew these pieces together I'm gonna surge it all I'm not gonna kill you all right I'll see you around a like a donut are you following me boy oh okay then